So how do you make a woman miss you? Maybe it's an ex-girlfriend that you want another chance with. Maybe it's a woman that's pulling away and you wanna rekindle things with her before she slips away for good. Or maybe it's a girl that you're dating and you know that, that the only way to take it to that next level with her is for her to miss you when you're not around, to anticipate seeing you. Well, in this video, I wanna give you five ways to make her miss you more. Hi, I'm Bobby Rio, and one of the things that I'm always dealing with with the clients that I work with is guys who are saying to me, Bobby, I haven't seen this girl in a week, a month, five years sometimes. How do I make her miss me? And what I noticed from these coaching sessions over, the, over and over again is that very often guys have the complete wrong idea of what you need to do to make a woman miss you. The one thing I wanna start off by saying is you never wanna be a woman's backup plan, right? And most of the things that these guys do is they set themselves up to be a woman's backup plan. For instance, if you're constantly kind of checking in with her and you know, hey, how's everything going? You're sort of, all you're really doing is you, you might think, well, I'm, I'm, I'm touching base with her and, and she's remembering me and maybe that'll make her miss me. But really what you're doing is you're solidifying your position as a possible backup plan. And you never wanna be a backup plan because she'll never take you seriously once she's pigeonholed you as, okay, he's there if I need him. If it doesn't work out with this guy, he's there. Not what you do to make a woman miss you. Now the other mistake a lot of guys make, and I've noticed this with clients, is they're very heavy handed trying to make a woman miss you, right? Um, for instance, maybe they went on a trip to Hawaii with, with an ex-girlfriend, so they'll purposely, when they talk to her, bring up, remember how good of a time we had in Hawaii? And they think if you're purposely reminding her about um, you know good times that you guys had together, it's gonna work, but that comes across as emotionally manipulative, and it actually turns people off. It's sort of like when you watch a movie and you know that they're trying to make you feel a certain way and it's almost like, ugh, like I don't wanna do that, right? When you watch like a bad Hallmark movie and you can tell they're trying to make you feel guilty or sad. And when you do that to a woman, it's like she's like, oh, this guy's trying to make me miss him. She's trying to, he, and, 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 and it lowers your value in her eyes. So what should you do to get a woman to miss you? Well, I'm gonna give you five ways to make her miss you. And some of these are gonna be a little counterintuitive. So let's get into it. Um, one of the first things I tell guys that I'm working with is that you really want to preemptively do things that are going to make a woman miss you in the future. So basically, as soon as you start dating a woman or talking to a woman, there's things you should be doing that set you up in the future for her missing you, right? So this is preemptive. What do I mean by that? So. My friend Rob Judge and I kind of refer to it as emotional time capsules, right? Emotional time capsules. Um, so I'll give you a very simple example, right? Um, our sense of smell is very connected to our memory. So one of the things I always tell guys is have a cologne that you wear, that you wear every time you're, you're with a woman because if you want a woman to miss you, right, and you always wear um, uh, whatever cologne, right, Chanel um, or Polo or, or what CK, whatever it is, right, especially if it's one that's popular but not so popular that every guy wears it, but popular enough where she associates that smell to you because you, you and you're with her, but then when she's out and she smells it, it's un, it's instinctive, right, meaning she's not gonna be able to help remembering you. We've all been there where we smell a perfume and it, I mean, I, there's perfumes I can smell that transport me back to you know 20 years ago to a girl that I remember who used to wear that perfume. And that's something like a preemptive thing. Other preemptive things to do are um, inside jokes with girls where you kind of create your own little world with them where you have ways of talking about specific things. Um, connecting with a woman in a way that she hasn't connected, right? So if you can, in a conversation, get a woman opening up to you and telling you things that she hasn't talked about with other people, 
she will find herself missing you when that emotion or, or her, when she thinks about that and you're one of the few people that she's talked about with it, she's going to feel herself drawn to you, right? These are all uh, techniques that you really got to be doing up front and sometimes it's too late, right? Sometimes you can't go back in time and do these, but that being said, um, you can start, right? Something as simple as wearing a cologne. If you do see a girl still and she's not completely out of your life, you know, maybe it's an ex-girlfriend that, you, that you're still hanging out with and you start wearing a, a new cologne, that could work, right? That's a very, very simple thing that, that you can do. Uh, but you gotta be conscious of this with all women you meet, right? And I have a video called the triangle of attraction where I talk about the three things you should be doing in every conversation that will create these time capsules. And you can watch that video. It's, it's on my channel somewhere. Um, the second thing though is a little bit more important, right? The second thing you want to do is um, leave on a high note. So this is something that I've noticed when I deal with clients is that when a girl pulls away or maybe it's an ex-girlfriend that you haven't talked to in a while and you want her back and then she does reach out to you or you reach out to her and, and she, she, she engages back with you, right? She responds to your text or you jump on messenger or you call up and you're talking on the phone or maybe she says, hey, let's meet for coffee. One of the problems that guys run into is they almost always overstay their welcome. And you want to be very conscious to leave on a high note. Remember, you want her associating good times, good feelings with you. So if you're hanging out with her, right, and things are going really well, we're so tempted to say, let me stay longer so I can even make it even better. But eventually what happens is you kind of, there's, there's always like that, that, that sort of hill and you're climbing up and you're climbing up it, right? It's like you're, you're creating this tension and everything's kind of going good. But if you stay too long, you start going down the other side of the hill and, and, and you kind of go back into complacency. A lot of times what happens is, especially when we're really into a girl and especially when we're an emotional quicksand over her and that's where you're kind of obsessed with her, the more time you actually spend with her, the more likely you are to start letting that seep out your neediness starts seeping out you start saying things like you know what why can't we give this another chance and you start kind of doing things that put a lot of pressure on her and, and, and have her go oh this is and all of the sudden every good vibe that you had created disappears so you really want to be conscious of that and to to, to kind of counter that just leave on a high note. Make a mental note with yourself how long you're going to stay or how long you're going to talk to her and always be the one to end it, right? Even if she reaches out to you and she's like, how's your day? How's your, how, how was your birthday? You know, so a lot of times that they'll use that as an excuse to reach how happy birthday. And we want to immediately use that as an opportunity to, to, to kind of re-engage them. But instead, you know, talk for a minute and then you end the conversation while it's still going well. That way in her mind, she wants more rather than getting her fix. Um, very simple, but very easy to mess up. Leave on a high note. The third one, no stalking. And I'm specifically talking about social media stalking. However, you also don't want to stalk a girl. Um, Social media stalking is bad for a variety of reasons, right? It's bad from a mental perspective because we talk about emotional quicksand where you're thinking about a girl. Well, if you start social, uh, if you start social media stalking her, you're, you're going to come across things that are going to set you in a tailspin, right? Some new guy is going to have liked her picture and made a comment and you're going to start going, wait a minute, is that her new boyfriend? Is she dating that guy? Or she's going to post a picture and you're going to be like, where is she? Who's she with? And you're going to start going crazy looking at all her friends and trying to figure out who she's, you know, who she's hiking with. Um, and that mentally puts you in a really bad state to play it cool and to eventually rekindle things with her. But from a practical standpoint, it's really bad too, because when you're social media stalking a woman, you tend to know more about her than you should, right? You tend to know that she was at a concert last week, or you know that her sister's in the hospital, and you know that um, you know that she was at the park with her dog, and you know all these things that are in your head, right? And what happens is when you start talking to her, you unconsciously 
mention these things, right? Because you're like, in your mind, you're like, oh yeah, you were at the park last week. So you're talking to her and you're like, oh, so how was the park last week? Because you're just trying to make conversation. But in her mind, she's like, how did he know I was at the park? Oh, he's, he's social media stalking me, right? Um, so the more you know about her, the more it's going to slip out when you're talking to her. And the more she's going to realize that you're, 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 you're following her too much. Um, also, you know, a lot of times guys think, well, by liking her posts um, or commenting, it puts you in her mind more. But in reality, again, it's just making you more of her backup plan, right? Um, we're going to talk in a second. Um, number four, I'm going to talk about how to actually use social media to your advantage in terms of getting a woman to miss you. But one of the things that I do want to bring up is that if women do get bored with you pretty often, usually it's because of a very, very subtle mistake you're making. So what I did was I created a seven question quiz that identifies what mistakes you might be making and actually creates a custom profile for you, right? Because after coaching uh, thousands of guys over the past 12 years, I realized that, that there's sort of certain groups that guys fall into and certain groups make very specific mistakes that are pretty easy to fix once you realize it. So this quiz, you answer these questions and then it tells you your attractive personality type and the mistakes you might be making and then a custom plan for you. It's completely free. You don't even have to give me your email or anything. There's a link below. Um, next though, let's get into the fourth way to make a woman miss you. And that is a mixture of mystery and jealousy. Okay, so here's the thing about jealousy. Very, one of the first things that I said when it comes to making a woman miss you is no heavy handedness, right? You can't be obvious about what you're doing. So if you're talking to your ex-girlfriend and you tell her, oh yeah, I'm going on dates. I'm, every weekend I got a new date. What is that? Uh, that? That's heavy handed. It means you're trying to, she can sense you're trying to emotionally manipulate her. You're trying to make her feel jealousy and she's going to resist it. She's going to go, okay, he's trying to make me feel jealous. And when she knows you're trying to make her jealous, she knows she has control over you. She knows she has you, which places you more into the backup plan than actually what you're trying to accomplish of getting her jealous. She can't know you're trying to make her jealous. It's really, really important. A lot of guys mess this up. I used to mess this up myself. I remember um, when an ex-girlfriend of mine broke up with me, I had uh, gone on vacation um, a few weeks after our breakup and I was hanging out with a bunch of girls down there. And I remember like posting a lot of the pictures knowing that she would see them. But, and at the time I thought it was a good thing, but in reality, it just made me look try hard. It made me look like I was trying to make her jealous. And she did. Uh, one of my friends like, who, who was friends with her said, oh yeah, she, she was like, oh, he's trying to make, you, make me jealous and it didn't work, right? So what do you do instead? How do you make a woman jealous without actually trying to make her jealous in, in that sense? Well, it comes down to this word right here, mystery, right? Mystery. So similarly, let, let's, let's rewind a little bit to when I was talking about not social media stalking a woman because what happens when you're on a woman's social media and you see her at a concert, but she doesn't have a picture of who she's with. You start going to yourself, who is she with? Who's she, who she at that concert with? Especially if it's like a romantic, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, a romantic type of band, right? That you're not gonna like go with another girl. Girls tend to, to, ma to maybe do that, right? But guys don't. But Whatever it is, right? You know, she, she's at a hotel, for instance. She's at, she's at a ski trip for the weekend and she has a picture of herself um, up on the mountain. Who is she skiing with, right? We, that's what's going through your mind. That's the mystery. That's what's good in terms of making a girl miss you. Um, who is he with, right? Uh, Rob Judge, my friend Rob Judge, has a, a story that he often tells where, you know, with the concert example that I gave, where he went with his friend, one of his friend's um, girlfriend's canceled on him for a concert, right? His, his friend Dan was going to this John Legend concert with his girlfriend, but his girlfriend couldn't make it. So at the last minute, he asked Rob to go. And if you know John Legend, it's very sort of romantic type music. And Rob had um, almost front row seats at this John Legend concert. So he posted something up on his uh, Facebook page 
and Instagram, I think, of like John Legend, like kind of leaning in and singing, you know, one of these romantic John Legend songs. And he just had a picture of it, right? So that anybody looking at it could see that Rob was at a John Legend concert, but they didn't know who he was with. And he said that like every girl that he had been talking to at that time all assumed that he was there with another girl. Now, that's the kind of thing that works because you're not throwing it in a girl's face, right? She's, it's, it's a mystery. Who is he there with? Who's he, who's he at that concert with, right? Who's he skiing with? When you talk to um, your ex, right? If you're talking on the phone and you say something like, oh, I went, I went skiing this weekend and you don't tell her who. You don't say with my, with, with, with my friend or with my cousin. You just say, oh, I went, went skiing for the weekend. If she says, who, you, you, you're very vague about it. A friend. I went skiing with a friend. I was just a friend, right? You don't say who it was because you want her to have that mystery, right? Um, there's a classic picture that I, this thing works so good that, that I you tell all my clients about it, is uh, where you post a picture of an apple teeny and a beer, right? You're out at a bar or a restaurant. And on the table, you put a beer and an apple teeny and you take a picture and you say something like, cheers to a good night. Um, why does that picture work? Because when a woman sees it, it's mystery. The apple teeny glass makes her think, oh, he must be with a girl, right? He must be with a girl. Um, but she doesn't know who the girl is. She doesn't, she's not sure. So now she's going to start going through your, you know, your, your thing to look and say, who's he talking to? And she's going to look at your friends list to see if there's any new girls that popped up on your friends list. That's what makes a girl think about you and ultimately miss you because she's kind of playing into that mystery. So let's get into the next one. So the next, uh, the next way is um, competition, competition, right? So number five, and I'm actually going to give you a bonus one, um, number six. So competing. Now we talked about jealousy, right? But there's also the element of competing for your attention, for your interest, right? So if a woman knows she has you, um, she knows that you're the priority, right? And most girls instinctively know this. And we know it too. Like if you've ever broken up with a girl where you had the power when the relationship ended and you know she's kind of waiting to get back together, um, you kind of know you have that power over her. Well, when a woman leaves you or pulls away from you, she sort of instinctively knows she has that power over you. So the more you can do to show that she doesn't have as much power as she thought, the better. So if all of the sudden you, she leaves with you and then all of the sudden you're super into, I don't know, some new activity, right? You get really into golf or tennis and you're playing it and you're talking about it and then she, she reaches out to you and you're like, oh yeah, and, and you seem so excited about this new thing you're doing. It makes her go, oh, he's not even really missing me, right? Because what does she imagine? She imagines you sitting around on Friday night alone, sad that she's not there, stalking her social media profile. That's what she's probably thinking you're doing. Um, and a lot of times it is what you're doing, right? Uh, so, but that's not attractive, right? To her, on the other hand, if all of a sudden she's out on Friday night and she thinks you're like skiing the Swiss Alps with your new cool new friends, that's more attractive to her. That gets her competing. And now she goes, oh, wait a minute. His life is actually getting better without me. He doesn't even seem to miss me. That's what gets her missing you, right? Introduce new interests in your life when you're trying to make a girl miss you. Because if you're just sitting around waiting for her, she's gonna pick up on that. If you're just like home all the time, thinking about her, if you're like in, in Mikey and Swingers, just laying there drinking orange juice, like watching Netflix and crying in, in, in your, in your, in your, in your, you know, she's going to subconsciously, that's going to come through, right? It's going to come through your texts when you talk to her. If you actually get in person with her and she's like, how you been? She's going to see it, right? She's just going to see the sadness in your face when you try to hide that. Oh, things have been good. But on the other hand, if you're, if, if all of a sudden you've met a new group of friends and you've got this new cool hobby that you're really into, she's going to see that. She's going to see your eyes light up and she's going to go, oh, wait a minute. I didn't have as much power over him as I thought. Maybe he's not my backup plan anymore. Um, and finally, um, number six is to be different. 
So there's a concept that I teach in my Unlock the Scrambler seminar, and it's probably one of the most valuable things that, that guys learn, right? Because it's, 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 it's almost like magic when you, when you actually start implementing it. But when a woman feels she has power over you, she expects you to act a certain way to her, right? There's all of these, I call them rules, and I'm not gonna get in too long into it now because it's, we literally um, explain it over the course of, a, of an entire seminar. Um, but there's all these rules that exist, right? They're power rules. Um, something like how fast you text her back. Um, something like how much attention do you give her when you're in the same room as her, right? Um, something like do you agree with her all of the time? Do you listen to her problems when she, when she starts telling you her problems? All of these are what I call rules of a relationship and they establish a power dynamic, especially if it's very in favor of her, right? Meaning um, you're always available, right? That, that could be a rule. Anytime she wants to hang out and, and that tends to be, right? Especially when a woman breaks up with us, but then she's kind of still around and she calls us. It's like for us, it's like, oh yeah, of course I'm available. Um, so that becomes a rule and all of these rules favor her. Um, to make a woman miss you, you've got to start breaking these rules. You've got to start identifying what they are and then not doing them much, some, some as much. That's sort of the um, bigger, more powerful things, but something simple you can do is just changing aspects of your personality, right? Um, or even your, even your looks. Like for instance, having her see you with a beard, if you've never had a beard when you were with her, is something is a change that's going to throw her off a little bit. Oh, something different about him, right? Um, dressing in a different way. So if you've always dressed kind of, you know, uh, casual around her, like you know, a sweatshirt type of, type of thing, but now you see her and you're in a suit and you look like really sharp, um, that's different. It's it's gonna it's gonna impact her, right? These are like little things to be different. Now, one of the most powerful things you can do though is eliminate eliminate the subtle mistakes that you're making, right? So that's gonna be number seven, eliminate subtle mistakes because the reality is most of us are making really subtle mistakes and it's because we have a certain attraction type, right? We have a certain vision of what it means to be an attractive guy when we're with a woman, right? We've had this vision for, for probably since we were in middle school and we continually do it, right? Whenever we're with a girl, we do certain things because we believe these are the things we need to do with her. Um, and certain guys fit into a certain different category. Uh, what I did was I created a quick seven question quiz. And what it does is I, it asks seven common questions about relationships and dating and flirting. And, and the way you answer these pinpoints where you fit in this uh, attraction profile. And then it also pinpoints your mistakes and how to fix them. It's completely free. You can click the link below. You can literally seven questions and then it, it'll formulate your custom profile with a plan of how to fix it. And I recommend that because most guys, like I said, are completely oblivious to these subtle mistakes that they're making. So click the link and take the quiz. And um, if you like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to me see me cover in the next video.